Welcome to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette, with your host, Steve Garrett, MC and DJ at one of the largest Corvette weekends in the country, Corvette Fun Fest, president of the Corvette Club of Kansas City, Missouri, and radio disc jockey at the number one radio station in Kansas City for over 40 years. Here's Steve Garrett. Hey, thanks for listening to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. I appreciate you tuning in. You can listen to Corvette Today on all podcast platforms like iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Pandora, Stitcher, Audible, and many more. You can also listen on your smart device. Just say Alexa or Hey Google, play the podcast called Corvette Today, and you're connected. Also, visit the Corvette Today website. It's corvettetodaypodcast.com. You can also sign up for Corvette Today notifications, updates, and information at corvettetoday.ck.page. And don't forget, join the Corvette Today Facebook group. We have over 2,000 members, and I'd love to have you as a member as well. First, I'd like to thank our flagship sponsors of Corvette Today, midenginecorvetteforum.com. If you'd like to join a new vibrant forum that focuses on the new mid-engine C8 Corvette, it's free to join this friendly community. You'll meet a lot of fellow Corvette enthusiasts like yourself at midenginecorvetteforum.com. Also, a new flagship sponsor of Corvette Today is CTR America. They're the OE supplier for chassis components for the C6 through C8 Corvette. CTR America also provides various aftermarket products like suspension and steering parts. They work with customers that have their own specs, unique designs, and requirements. The CTR Enhanced R&D process provides cutting-edge solutions, superior quality, and lightweight yet functional products, including EV products. CTR has brought to the aftermarket the same know-how developed as an OEM supplier. Visit the CTR America website and learn more at aftermarket.ctr.co.kr. Another new flagship sponsor of Corvette today is E-Tech. E-Tech is the expert and leader in custom flooring. Whether it's your garage floor, basement, patio, or front steps of your home, or a professional workplace, E-Tech is four times stronger than epoxy and comes with a 15-year warranty. There are hundreds of different patterns to choose from, and installation is completed in one day. You can walk on your floor in 24 hours. Call for a free estimate at 913-745-3732. Or visit etechcustomcoatings.com, 913-745-3732, or etechcustomcoatings.com. I have my garage floor done with etech and absolutely love it, and I know you'll love yours. You can see the pictures of it on my blog at corvettetodaypodcast.com. And a shout out to canadiancorvetteforum.com too, welcoming Corvette owners from around the world. My guest on Corvette today is a man that has been around cars all of his life. Whether it was his father or his grandfather, he's been involved in the automotive industry since he was six years old. Today, his family runs one of the largest and the best auctions in the world. It's my pleasure to have Frank Meekum from the Meekum Auctions on the show. Frank, welcome to Corvette today. Thanks, Steve. It's great to be on. I've been looking forward to it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Hey, let's start back in the early days, Frank. When did you start working in the family business? Well, the auction started in 1988. I was six years old, but really I started hanging around more a couple years after when I was eight, just hanging up on the auction block, listening to the auctioneers. I was always in awe of it, standing down on the block with dad, putting sold stickers on the cars which if you watch an auction today, he still does that. It's just one of our trademarks, having that sold sticker put on a car. It's really been a great ride. But my first job for Meekum, I was in college and I started working bidder registration, signing up bidders, working in the office alongside my mom at the time. And that was really my first start. And now you're the vice president of consignments. Talk about what that job entails, Frank. Our consignment team is really excelled over the last years. We consign over 15,000 cars a year, which is a huge number to over 13 collector car auctions per year. So we are in charge of gathering the inventory, making sure placement of the inventory, and getting the docket set for the upcoming auctions for potential bidders. And you've got three brothers. Are they in the auction business with you guys as well, with you and your dad? That's the best part about our business. All three of my brothers work alongside us every day. My oldest brother, Dan, runs our tractor division. 
He started that over 10 years ago, and it has really taken off. My brother, Ben, is in charge of our Bid Goes On on site, which is off-the-block sales and all of our sponsorships. Wow. And then uh, my youngest brother, Harry, we've always said he had to have been the smartest one. He's the accountant of the family and keeps track of all the money. He's the bean counter, isn't he? Yep. That's awesome. Talk about your grandfather, Edward, because I know that he was in the car business and he passed that on to your dad and your dad passed that on to you. But your grandfather was really in the car industry pretty deep, wasn't he? Grandpa started working as a salesman at a uh, Packard store and was in the car business the rest of his life in many different ways, different dealerships all through that time. My favorite memory was my first car. We're standing at an auction in Des Moines, Iowa. I was probably 12 or 13 years old at the time. A little 64 and a half Mustang came on the auction block. And he looked to me and said, we're going to buy this. So he tells me to go bid on it. And we bid on it. And at the time, that's 93, 94, somewhere in there. So this car brings seven, eight grand, which today it's $50,000, $60,000 car. Nice little 289 with pony interior. Just a great looking car. After that, had been hooked ever since. What a great story. That was your first bid. So you were able to actually bid on your own car in your own auction. Yep. Me and Grandpa bought it, and then we ended up selling it later. But when we sold it, I think we made $1,000 on the car, and I thought I was the richest kid in the world. Absolutely right. Well, Frank, let's take a quick break. And in segment number two, we're going to talk about game day at the Mecham Auctions here on Corvette Today. American Hydrocarbon, your one-stop shop for custom interior, exterior, and engine bay items for your C4 through C8 Corvette. We can help you create a custom look for your Corvette with carbon fiber or 10 different color patterns and styles. We've served customers in over 28 countries all around the world. Whether it's a custom-made engine cover for your new C8 mid-engine Corvette or custom-made C4 interior upgrades, American Hydrocarbon can help you transform your Corvette into a best-in-class show car. Our products have been featured in VET and Corvette magazines, so give us a call. 813-476-5638. That's 813-476-5638. Visit our website at AmericanHydrocarbon.com or email us at pat at AmericanHydrocarbon.com. Let us help you make your Corvette the car you've always wanted it to be. American Hydrocarbon. KC Trends Motorsports has been the Midwest's largest custom wheel superstore for over 25 years. They specialize in C8 wheel fitments from the top brands in the industry, like HRE, Vossen, ADV1, Avant Garde, and more. They ship daily from their Kansas City location to all upper 48 states with the best pricing and inventory in the country. Need tires? KC Trends Motorsports has you covered. They have tires in stock from Michelin and Pirelli. Plus, they can help you with a customized wheel and tire combo for your Corvette to truly make it one of a kind. And if you need wheel ideas, no problem. Simply go online to kctrends.com for their car and wheel visualizer. See the wheels on your Corvette before you purchase. Also, there's dozens of wheels and tire combo pictures to look through online to spur your imagination. And their expert staff is there to help you with wheel and tire sizing and offsets for your C6, C7, and C8 Corvette. Visit them online at kctrends.com. See them on Facebook and Instagram. Make any Corvette a one of a kind with KC Trends Motorsports. Call them toll free, 877 962 5200. KC Trends Motorsports. You're listening to the Corvette Today podcast with Steve Garrett. Thanks for listening to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette. My guest today is Frank Meekham from the Meekham Auctions. In segment number two, we're going to talk about what goes on during the Meekham Auctions for game day. Frank, during this pandemic, we talk about precautions that are being taken by everybody. And the Meekham Auction was down for a little bit during the height of the pandemic. Talk about the measures that you guys take now to ensure that everybody that attends the auction, whether they work there or they are a visitor and a bidder, what kind of precautions do you guys take to make sure everybody's safe? Well, going into the pandemic, you know, everybody was caught off guard. We were especially. It really started for us just about a year ago. We were at our Glendale auction in Arizona, and that was the same weekend. Everything just kind of came apart. 
all the sporting events started canceling. NBA went down, NHL went down, NASCAR went down, the NCAA tournament went down. By the end of our auction, we were the last live event in the country. Wow. And watching it, knowing that we're getting ready to head into having issues of our own with more events coming up. We lost five auctions last year due to the pandemic, but we're still very lucky. We got 11 auctions in after coming out of the shutdown. When we started that, if you had asked us then if we thought we were going to get that many in, we didn't know the answer. So it was a lot of hard work going into that, coming up with our plans, reworking them each and every time, getting to where we are now. Some of the things that we did were making sure temperature checks at the door, masks for everybody, spreading the crowds out, eliminating the normal crowd style seating that you see at any live collector car auction. And we went to tables that were spread out six feet apart, two people to a table, just to really spread that crowd out. Partitions in the office to keep customers and staff apart and safe and being able to do it successfully almost 12 months now has really been a lot of hard work and a testament to our staff that never gave up and knew that we could do it and never stopped going forward and kept keeping a great attitude. And online bidding has really skyrocketed, I know. Talk about that and the new guidelines that you have for online bidding. We've always had online bidding and absentee bidding, but it has not been a large part of our business until coming out of the shutdown. We were averaging less than 10% of our sales were absentee and really ramping up new systems during the shutdown, knowing that we were going to have to have upgraded internet, being able to upgrade our internet and our ability to do phone and inspections for people that weren't able to travel yet, not comfortable with traveling yet, but still want to be part of the hobby. That's the most important thing. People still want to be part of this. Our hobby is a very close-knit family. And giving everybody that opportunity to stay in has been a big part of our success coming out. Now doing probably over 30% of our sales going absentee. Wow. has been a big part of our success coming out of this. That's amazing. And Restomods seem to be very hot. I'm watching the shows religiously, and it seems like Restomods are really big right now. Talk about Restomods and how younger bidders are gravitating towards them. I think about resto mods. The first resto mods I started seeing was almost 20 years ago now, when I first started full time out of college. I remember seeing a couple 67 Corvettes that they put LS motors and different chassis on at our Florida auction almost 20 years ago. And it was the first time I'd really seen that. And just thinking then, what a cool concept that they were doing with those. And now all genres are covered under the resto mods, and there's so many different varieties and so many different choices. It's really become its own section to our hobby. And you're right. It has really taken off. You see so many, and as soon as you see a car, you think, wow, they can't top that. And then somebody comes back right over the top and tops that. It reminds you of what the early hot rods were. Somebody would set the bar for the best hot rod out there, and then somebody come back to grace it over that. It's the same thing, repeating itself just in a little bit different way. And it's really become its own genre. It's very cool. As a matter of fact, you know, I watch pretty religiously, like I said before, and I love watching you on the block. You get really animated when you're working a deal. Talk about that intensity with your relationship between either you and the consigner or you and the bidder. It really comes down to my absolute love for the auction process. Like saying earlier, that's where I started sitting up on the auction block, listening to the auctioneer's chant, watching the ringman work watching the team work. I fell in love with it in such a young age. And it was always what I wanted to do. It's always where I wanted to end up. And now being able to be a part of it and having the greatest auction crew in the world working around you just makes it so much fun. And that's where that animation comes from. I'm just having the time of my life out there, being able to meet new people that are bidders and sellers Everybody with a different story, everybody with a different car. That's really where that comes from. And I know that your job is probably one of the most difficult during the auction. There's a delicate balance, it seems like, between getting a seller to maybe lift the reserve or getting a buyer to go higher on a bid on a car. It takes a master negotiator like yourself to pull that off and pull it off well. That's one of the secrets to Mecham Auction success. That's how we separate ourselves from some of the other companies out there. 
Our job, we've always looked at it is to find the right balance where we get our buyers to give that little bit extra and our sellers to take a little bit less and everybody walking away feeling like they won. That's been Mecham Auction's greatest success from the beginning of time. That's how dad always visioned it in his head. That's what his love was. And it's just filtered down over the years and it's become really part of our brand. That's how you guys sell so many cars and over 15,000 consigned. That's amazing. Frank, let's take our last break. And coming up in segment number three, we're going to talk about Corvettes of the Mecham Auction on Corvette Today. VetFinders.com is the Internet's original Corvette classified ads website with classified ads starting at just $25. And every ad runs until your Corvette is sold. If you're in the market for a Corvette, VetFinders.com has over 500 Corvettes for sale from all around the USA and Canada and covering all eight generations. Visit VetFinders.com. The Internet's destination for buying and selling Corvettes. That's V-E-T-T-E finders.com. Hey, honey, are you awake? Mm, I am now. I can't sleep. Since turning 50, I keep dreaming of a red door and a blue door, somehow knowing there are only choices for retirement. Okay. Through the red door, we outlive our money. We have to rely on our kids. We're stuck on a fixed income. It's terrifying. Yeah, that would suck. But through the blue door, our money outlives us. We retire on our terms. Our kids stay our kids, not our caretakers. We make work optional. Yes, that's much better. That's what I want too. But what do we do? We call True Wealth and Company at 913-653-8783. They specialize in helping successful people make work optional. They're our fiduciary Blue Door personal wealth managers. Hey, where are you going? It's 3 a.m. I can't sleep. I'm going to check out True Wealth and Company online at retirewithtrue.com. That Blue Door is going to be our retirement. 913-653-8783. Visit us online at retirewithtrue.com. Investment advice offered through True Wealth and Company, LLC, a registered investment advisor in the state of Kansas. And now, back to Corvette Today with your host and my husband, Steve Garrett. Hey, thanks for listening to Corvette Today. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. With me today, Frank Meekham from the Meekham Auctions. In this final segment, we're going to talk about Corvettes and the part they play during the Meekham Auctions. Frank, we've had John Craman on the podcast, and he said that Corvettes make up a huge part of your auction. Talk about the roles that Corvette plays in the Meekham Auctions. Well, Corvettes really started as being one of the mainstays of Meekham Auctions even before there was a Meekham Auctions. Dad's first love was Corvettes. Always was. When my grandpa had the new Pontiac store in Ringo, Illinois, the little town that we grew up in, dad had a little sports center where he was selling Corvettes and other sports cars out of. And that's where the love really came for him, being part of that early hobbyist of Corvettes in the late 70s, early 80s. And it really just took through the auctions over the years. Our brand was always Corvettes and muscle cars, and we've grown so much past that that we do everything now, but it really started with that core of Corvettes. We've had the opportunity to sell some of the most special Corvettes that were ever made, and we sell just the regular Corvettes that go to the everyday guy, and that's what our belief has always been, having something for everybody. And Corvette is that car. It's always been the blue-collar sports car. It's Americana that every American looks to owning a Corvette as their sports car. So it's really been, and it just fits with our brand and our mentality that we've always had something for everybody. And it's just the two brands fit. I want to jog your memory a little bit, Frank. Talk about some of the more memorable Corvettes that have crossed the auction block. What was the gavel price? Which Corvettes stand out to you in all the years that you've been doing this with your family business? There's so many special ones. You can go back to, it would have been, it was actually my 21st birthday. We were at Bloomington Gold, so that would have been 2003. We had the no mile, under 20 miles, 67 L88 Corvette Coupe. Wow. Probably the most famous of the 67 L88s. And having the opportunity to sell that car at that time, when it sold for over $600,000 at that time, we thought well, that's the greatest thing ever. And we know what those cars do today, but that is one of my earliest memories of selling just a special Corvette and having the opportunity. I think we've now sold four of the 2067 L88s now. Wow. That's always been a huge success for ours. 
just sold to Kissimmee, the 63 Z06 big tag car of Mickey Thompson's. Yes. We've sold that car several times. That's the car in my memory that I've always remembered. And then there's other Corvettes that haven't sold through the block that come through my memory. And it's not that they're the most expensive. One of our family's personal cars is just a 67 390 horse Corvette that is nothing special that we've all driven, that we've owned for probably over 25 years. Wow. That is just our family car, but to anybody else, it wouldn't be that meaningful. But to us, it's one of the most special Corvettes out there. That's cool. That's very cool to know that it's real. It's a true family car. Yep. Your dad, your brothers have driven it. You've driven it. That's really cool. Is there any generation or a year of Corvette that you see coming across the block more often or one that may be more popular? The one you see a lot now, and they made so many of them, and for an entry-level person looking for a Corvette, there's nothing better than a C5 Corvette. I think that generation, it's such a good car. They will drive forever. It's just a pure enjoyment to drive them. We see more and more of them coming. They're not overly expensive, but that's a car that I really look at is a car that really will keep the hobby going forever. Yeah, for sure. So is there a Corvette Frank that has come across the block and you you look at it and say, oh, man, I'd love to have that one in my garage? Every one of them. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great answer. I'm an addict, Steve. That's an awesome answer. (laughs) That's fantastic. I want them all. The best part, I've always loved the chase of cars. Going out and finding the new car, enjoying it, but I'm always moving on to the next one. I love the C2s like everybody else. I don't fit in a C1. I've never really enjoyed those as much. So the couple that I've owned, I don't fit. Now you talked about the 67 that's there in the family garage. Are there other Corvettes, maybe one or two of the Corvettes that you would love to own? Well, I've actually have the one car that I don't ever sell. It's nothing special, but it was the first Corvette I ever bought on my own. We were selling a group of cars for Bob McDormand. I don't know if you remember Bob. I do. Bob was one of my dad's closest friends, and he had one of the greatest Corvette collections I ever seen. He was one of the largest Corvette dealers in the country. We were selling a group of his cars on site at the dealership, and one of the cars that went through was his 2002 demo. This was probably 2005 when we had this auction. That 2002, he had had knee surgery, so he never drove it. It had no miles. I bought it, and I've kept it ever since. That's amazing. Wow. In the summer, I take my kids in it now, and it's like the 67. It's nothing special, but it was my first Corvette, and my kids have learned to enjoy it. Our favorite thing is that first spring, getting it out of the garage, washing it with the kids. When they're done, I have to redo it. (laughs) but it's the fun that we have with it, the memories you have with your family. That's what the hobby is about. Absolutely right. It doesn't have to be a special Corvette per se, but it's special to you and your family, and that's what makes family memories. Yep. Frank, talk about some of the upcoming Mecham auctions and how someone can attend or bid or even sell their car or their Corvette possibly. Our next auction is the Glendale. We're looking to get back to Glendale and have a great auction. We have a great lineup. We have a great lineup of Corvettes. We just consigned just last week a 67 L88 for the auction. Wow. So it's another opportunity to set the table for another special car to cross the Mecham auction block. Any bidder that wants to attend, they can go straight to Mecham.com, register right on Mecham.com. If you're interested in consigning your Corvette or your car, You can call the main office or fill out the form right online and send that in, and a consignment specialist will take care of you after that. That sounds good. Frank, thank you so much for taking the time to be on Corvette today. I really appreciate it. Like I said earlier, John Craman was on. It was great to have both of you here on the podcast. Thanks, Steve. Can't wait to see you next time in Kansas City. Absolutely. I hope you guys will be here sooner than later for sure. Yep. Be next December. That sounds good. Thanks a lot, Frank. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Meekum from the Meekum Auctions. Thanks for listening to Corvette Today, and thanks to our sponsors, CTR America, who makes chassis components for the C6, C7, and C8 Corvette. Visit their aftermarket items online at aftermarket.ctr.co.kr. Also, American Hydrocarbon at AmericanHydrocarbon.com and 
KC Trends Motorsports at kctrends.com. And don't forget E-Tech Custom Coatings at etekcustomcoatings.com or call 913-745-3732. You've been listening to Corvette Today with Steve Garrett. If you'd like to contact Steve with any thoughts on the podcast or ideas for guests on Corvette Today, you can email him at stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. That's stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. Garrett has two R's and two T's. Or connect with Steve on social media on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using at stevegarrettdj. Thanks again for listening to Corvette Today.